Here I am at the site of a plane crash that happened November 20th, 1949. It was an AT-6 uh, Navy trainer plane that was piloted by John Moses, an 18-year-old. He left Bridgeport, Connecticut, headed for Boston, Mass. Evidently he got lost in the low clouds and he crashed here on Blood Mountain in Newberry, New Hampshire. Um, right now his elevation is about 2389 and as you can see the top of the mountain is right there. Probably missed clearing it by about 100 feet in elevation. I'm going to give you a little tour of the crash site here. Some of these old parts have been here for 60 years now. As you can see, it's very steep terrain in here. It's awful, pretty rocky and ledgy. Of course, you can see some people would probably salvage some parts off this plane with the landowners. Uh, Don and Andy Clifford have asked people not to take souvenirs from the site. Part of his landing gear right there. The crash site was not actually found until the following day on a Monday by uh, Harold Bunker, who was the manager of uh, Newport Airport. That's about five miles from here. Him and a uh, state trooper took off the next morning about 6.30 a.m. At about 6.38 a.m. is when they spotted the wreckage. That following night, Conservation Officer Jesse Scott uh, some of the eyewitnesses, so to say, to the crash, they heard a loud boom and seen a fireball in the sky. Uh, hiked up the other side of the mountain, but actually there were two ridges away from this crash site. There was a newspaper reporter and a state trooper that spent the night in the woods. They um, were led to this site the following morning by Mr. Bunker and a state trooper that was in his plane when they took off from Newport Airport. Mr. Bunker circled the area for about an hour and then finally um, the ground searches of the state troop and the Newport re newspaper reporter um, came to the site. Then the other search party teams came in. Uh, John Moses actually had a parachute on and it was deployed but they don't know as if he deployed it himself or it was from the impact that um, made the parachute open but the body was found the next day they brought up a stretcher but unfortunately he died from his injuries from the crash we'll hike up a little bit up here because crankshaft of the motor and all that is up here higher on the hill. The motor was thrown approximately 150 feet forward of the fuselage. As you can see, the top of the mountain's right there, so unfortunately, 
he didn't have enough altitude. And here's the crankshaft off the engine. As you can see it's pretty pretty well rusted and looks like more than likely possibly some people took some souvenirs which hopefully they respect the site and do not take any more. <clears throat> okay I guess that's about it on this little uh, tour of the November 20th, 1949 plane crash on Blood Mountain in Newberry, New Hampshire. Enjoy the video. <clears throat>